Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. No need to be quiet now. Let's just, oh my god. Where are you come? I mean, why are you coming first without your babies? It's usually babies first and then the big old dongles. Just let them breathe fire and then attack their tail. That's all they do. It's, it, they're ridiculously easy to beat, so don't even worry about them. They aren't even like the original dongles where, ow, where what happens is that uh, you have to um, throw a bomb in their mouth and always look out for their tail and they whip around as you've seen I took a hit from them before but yeah they're they aren't that much of a big deal come on flip around there you go <laughs> and whenever they flip around and they breathe fire the cycle repeats they're easy to beat there we go uh, there's bomb flower up there oh and yeah when they die they explode as well so don't be next to them when they explode explosions are not good for our human selves that, that's just something that you should learn in life Oh, I, I should never try to attack its tail twice. And also, never Z-target it, because you'll attack its head and not its tail. Okay, and... You, that, you only took three hits? Really? Or, or did I miscount? Huh. Well, anyway, normally in the original game, there's a bunch of uh, really, really annoying statue enemies. I forgot their names. I think they're called Armos. Armos Knights or something like that. They're disguised when you touch them. They come to life and they hurt you a lot. And you have to bomb them from the back. And there's a compass. No bombs yet, though. But that's alright. I'm sure I'll get them later. Okay, so there's bombs in this room. Okay. So what, what if I were to go over into this room? Do I need bombs for this room? Because there's no way a bomb will survive the, the, the track all the way over here. You know, this... This long trek that I take to get over here. Okay, so this is the other side. But what? What are the? What's the point of the bomb in the other room? Is that to help me, like, defeat the Dodongos for whatever reason? Because those weren't hard to beat in the slightest. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't see any bombable walls, so. Okay, let's just continue, I guess. Let's, let's check our map though. Let's just see if we. No, I didn't miss anything, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe like those bombs were used in an earlier room, like a, a new hidden room or something like that, I don't know. Please don't be keys, please don't be keys. No keys ambush, okay. <laughs> so I hate when keys like knock you off of things then you have to climb back up, that's just like the worst thing ever. Okay, down here, there's gonna be some blade traps, I think. Wait, what? Torches? Torches? Do I need to get bombs and then come back here with Din's fire or something like that? Because this is clearly something that I can't do right now. Is is like the well, unless unless I'll be able to like run through here with a torch or something like that. But I don't I don't think my torch will reach that high. Yeah, because those those torches are like stuck to the wall somehow with super glue. <laughs> Um, and I know I can't light torches with bombs. Okay, let's just climb. I said, let's just climb up here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's open now. You don't need bombs to get in there. That's good to know. So maybe I'll just hop across here like that. Let's just look up and around. Well, I'm looking directly at the spot where there's a treasure chest. See on the map there, as you can see my yellow arrow? Is that pi can I blow up that pillar? <laughs> I would be very surprised if I could blow up that pillar. I don't ever remember being able to blow up something of that size in, Z in Zelda. Um, wait, I'm pretty close to the chest right now. Unless it's like underneath it? Un underneath this block? Maybe? <laughs> I'm just doing like a lot of speculation in this part. Yes, no, maybe, I think. <laughs> okay, let's, let's pull this back and try and get on the higher ledge. I know I can easily get up to that other area that I jumped to that I had the ladder later. I just, because you know, this is Master Quest, so 
they made things go out of order and whatnot. Okay, I can't do anything here. Just wanted to be sure. Just wanted to be sure. But where, I mean, where the poop is that treasure chest anyway? <laughs> okay, what if, what if I were to grab this and... No, that's not it, of course. See, look at this. I'm walking... I'm walking right underneath the spot where the treasure chest is. Is it, like, on a higher... It's probably on top of one of those two. Well, okay. I, I know I can jump across there later, but as of right now, I guess not. Uh, I'm gonna pull this out further just to see if there's anything behind this block. Uh, I thought I thought like maybe there would be a skull to or something like that behind it, but okay. Let, let's just go on. As I said, I can't finish this until later. Um. I need to burn this. Okay, I can't go forward just yet. This could be a problem. Can I, like... Can I jump from here to that? Yes, I can. Okay. So, I have to light this golden torch with something. What that something is, I don't know, but I reset the blocks in this room. <laughs> okay. So, let's... Let's, let's move these blocks around and see what's up. Maybe I'll find the solution. Ah, there's definitely nothing for me back in the other rooms. That's for certain. Because there's only like one solution per room. Or at least that's what it seemed like. So, let's take a look around. Okay, well, there's this torch right at the beginning here of, of the room. So, I gotta do something with this. That's, that's for sure, okay. So, maybe, just maybe what I have to do is just light all those torches by jumping into them? Because that, that's certainly possible to do. I, I think. Can I? What if I were to jump attack those things? No, I just break the stick. Okay. <laughs> just thought I would try that, but... Okay, there, there's that torch at the beginning. Is it possible to race up to that torch, the golden torch, and light it while it's still burning? Let's find out. Hop. Ow. Climb. And climb. Light, 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 light. No, I touched this torch and it still didn't light. Okay, so that, that torch lights under a special circumstance, which is probably lighting these three torches here but how wait the blocks yes I put the blocks underneath the torches and then jump across them ah yes very clever Nintendo but not clever enough Okay, this is going to take a while for me to do. <laughs> I, because what I have to do is jump to the, to the block on the other side. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I only have to pull them out to here. Because I'm going to have to jump and touch those blocks in midair. Or, or can I pull the block underneath them? Can I? Well, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> Oh, this is a tedious one, but I have to say it's a pretty clever puzzle. Yeah, I think I might be able to get away with them just being like that, but I seriously don't want to risk that. Because <laughs> this run, you know, it would take... No, Whenever you try to grab a block, just stop in front of it and then push it forward. That's what I keep making the mistake of doing. Um, wait, wait, do I want... Do I want it to be one more back, or is that in the hallway? I don't think that's in the hallway. It's push. Oh no, they're fine like that. Okay. Is this one fine? Did this did this clear the corner? Yeah, I cleared the corner. Oh, so I guess you don't. That I mean, that wall gives you just enough room to pull those blocks without having to go on the other side. Oh, that's pretty handy. Okay. Oh, I like puzzles, but I don't like tedious puzzles. Tedious puzzles are the worst thing ever. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you solve a puzzle, it shouldn't take too long to solve a puzzle. That's all that I'm saying. It's like, once once you get the general idea of what you want to do, it shouldn't take you long to do that general idea. Okay, if I climb up on here... Okay, a little bit further for this one. 
and see not it's like I have to check each of those little blocks individually and may I add those blocks aren't actually all that little <laughs> and I also question how the heck Link can even pull them they look like they're made of stone anyway hop down here okay, let's just climb I don't know if I'm gonna have enough ah not have enough time on this run no I'm definitely not gonna have enough time this run okay let's try it again no big deal I, I would like to drop onto one of these blocks maybe that one no way because when you move forward the torch is on your left side so I would be best off starting at the left one if anything like climbing up from here and then switching the camera real, real quick and and no 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 oh Jesus Christ what well, it worked. <laughs> well, okay, I opened, I opened that section off to the left side. So I'm guessing that torch way up on top of that block is not something that I can do right now. Um, you know what's faster uh, rather than pulling those blocks back over to get on top of that ledge? Resetting the block positions. <laughs> So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm just going to slap you around a little bit just for the fun of it. And hopefully the blocks will be reset. Yes, they are. Awesome sauce. And now I can just slide this over without much trouble. See, that's how you get rid of tedious aspects. <laughs> it's those little nice resets that you can do like that to sort of make these things more bearable and I figure this door would stay open regardless of because you know I already solved the puzzle and whatnot uh oh giant skull t or just big skull to us uh oh that was not what I was expecting and oh god there's they I mean three of them dropped down these gomas are like the silliest enemies ever just look how they run <laughs> um I, th I, th I thought I seen four shadows. Okay, that I seen a Navi was just blocking. Oh my god, there's more than that. That's for sure. Okay, let's just let's just make a plop down. There we go. And the other one will plop down once I'm attacking this one. And I hear a Skulltula in this room. It better be in one of these crates. <laughs> well, door open, so that means all the enemies are out. Besides the Skulltula, of course. Skulltulas are completely optional. Though they are handy. And look at that, my wallet is freaking maxed out. So I'm not going to be able to... Oh, you're underneath the crate. Thank you. So I'm not going to be able to take advantage of that extra wallet space. You know what? Whenever I end up back in the main area, I'm just going to exit and go to the Skaltula house at Kakariko Village and upgrade my wallet. And I can't open the chest from that side. <laughs> that was it. Come on, man. There's more to this. There's gotta be. This can't be just a bonus room for five rupees. Well, I guess and a Skultula, which is pretty important to a 100% run. That's it. <sighs> no! Well, maybe, maybe when I lit those torches in this room, the torch up on top over there became lit. Ah, yes it did, okay. But it was still worth going into that room anyway because of the fact of, you know, that I had to get that Skulltula. So there's one Skulltula that I missed because I can't get to it without the Song of Time, and there's one over there that I got. All right, light it, hop. Ah, that's not gonna make it. Let's try it again. These, uh, uh, dungeon hopping techniques are used typically in like speed runs you know like because it's it's kind of hard to angle yourself just right to get onto that ledge each and every time so that's that's the kind of thing that a speed runner would do basically okay like I'm gonna definitely light this torch <laughs> because once it's lit then I can relight my thing anytime and I should have just did the jump attack right away there we go what? Oh, baby the dongles. Oh, you're gonna hide in the ground, aren't you? Okay. Uh-oh. That torch doesn't stay lit. That's a problem. <laughs> a big problem. Okay, what am I... How the heck do I move that block? That That's a block that I can pull. Okay, where are the babies? 
I want to kill your babies. That sounds mean to say, but I do. <laughs> the babies are wimps. You just hit them with your sword and they'll die out, and then they blow up. Okay, maybe I'm just supposed to light both torches, maybe? That, that won't be too hard to do, I don't think. So let's just switch around, boink, and hopefully they'll catch on. There we go. And... Freaking Skulltula resets. Oh my god. That's evil! Oh, man. Uh, how am I supposed to do that then? Am I supposed to like light that torch, kill the Skulltula really fast, and then light the other one while this one's still lit? Because that seems practically impossible. That's my only lead right now, but still. And oh, when I pull out my torch... I mean, when I pull out my sword, the torch goes back into my inventory. Oh, wow. So that... Wow. Okay, let's let's just try this one more time before the end of this part to see if I can solve the puzzle of this room. Okay, like this. And quickly. Come on, switch, switch, switch. There we go. Whip out a stick. Light it. Okay, that is the solution. Maybe. Wait, where's... I need another one. I need another one. Wait, where... Okay, I'm officially puzzled here. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't I can't push that block on top of the thing and yeah huh maybe I should try killing the babies off well I don't know I'm gonna end off this part here because I solved the puzzles in the last couple of rooms so this room right here is gonna have to wait till next time so I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll see you in the next parts it's okay link we'll get through this we've got a fairy <laughs>